Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October 10th through October 16th. Now keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for a message today? For Taurus, Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So obviously you have a new path that is opening up. Let's get another one. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Now, I suppose this could be a woman. Somehow, this younger man may be involved, or a younger woman. What do we have for Taurus? Okay, gong! An exciting event. So, there is an exciting event here. There's going to be an exciting event this week. Oh, we're going to go with this one first. What do we have for Taurus? New path opening up. New opportunity, exciting event. Yes, that's it. Ooh, the sun. Now, the sun is extreme happiness. It's bliss. It's yes. It's a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's a life giving energy. It's a high vibration. It's, it's warmth. It's clarity. So, very happy. So that's happy, happy, happy. What do we have for Taurus? Happy new beginning. Something, something is, that's beautiful. Shining. It's a new day, right? It's a new day. Positive. What do we have for Taurus? Increase in money. Looks real good now, don't it? Looks real good. And that is very positive. Okay, so increase in money, increase in happiness. This is probably good health. Unfaithful. Well, things always, there's always got to be a problem. There may be somebody that around you that is unfaithful. You got to probably be careful for that. If there is, this is clarity. You will be able to see it very clearly. Ah, the feelings are mutual. Somebody's feelings are mutual. On the bottom of the deck, we have spiritual awakening. And this is a spiritual awakening, awakening as well. So somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody's feelings are, mut are mutual. Somebody's been unfaithful. Maybe they've been unfaithful to their feelings. But unfaithful typically I means somebody's taking their ring off. Maybe there's a separation. I don't know. Sun is a beautiful new day. It's a beautiful new life. This is a yes. This is this is perfect. Whatever is happening, it appears to be positive. <laughs> Unfaithful definitely is a problem. <clears throat> I guess we're going to go. We got two. We're going to take them. <clears throat> page of Wands. On the Page of Wands is good news. This is exciting. This person is very risky. The Page of Wands, typically fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is spontaneous, exciting. This may be a new suitor that is, is popping into your life, bursting into your life out of nowhere. This could be your younger man. I, I, I don't know. It could be a younger woman. This is somebody that is very exciting, passionate. This could be an offer or an invite that is coming. The Page of Wands is good news. It's exciting. It's an exciting new direction. Fun, 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 fun. The star. Wish fulfillment. A wish being granted. Unexpected help arriving. Now, the star comes after a tower moment. Right? So somebody has experienced 
a, a tower moment. They've experienced some sort of breakdown or some sort of catastrophe. I mean, this is help arriving. This is guaranteed success. This is, and it's interesting because the star is shining, okay? The star shines bright. The sun is a very shining, bright energy as well, glowing. Now, the star is a wish that is being granted. Unexpected help arriving. There is some sort of help that is arriving. Maybe to clean up some sort of mess. I don't know what this mess is, but this is a messy situation. This is somebody reaching out to give you a hand. You are going to be given a hand in some way. It's like your prayers have been heard in some way. I mean, that's the star. This person's obviously been praying, praying for a way out, praying for help. Somebody's been praying for help. Their prayers are being answered. This is yes. So there's something that is happening. There's a new opportunity, a new pathway that is opening up. Very interesting. There's some sort of guidance here. There's a guiding light. There is going to be an increase in money as well. I don't know what this unfaithful is, but somebody's been unfaithful. Page of Wands again. So now you got it twice. The Page of Wands, like I said, this is like something happening very suddenly. This could definitely be a new suitor. Whatever it is, it's a new exciting beginning, a new adventure, a new direction. You do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. You also have um, Aquarius. It feels like there's an offer or an invite of some sort. Or just some really exciting news. Really, really good news. This is a message. And maybe a message is coming. There is an exciting event. Something very exciting is happening. Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness. Page of Wands, the Star card. Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups. The star card is wish fulfillment. Everybody knows the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So, so whatever is happening, this is a wish of yours that is being granted. Okay, the Nine of Cups is having plenty this is some sort of celebration. I don't know if you're, this is like, I don't know, there's some sort of celebration here. And this is, that guy's holding the, an ace of cups. It looks like he's, he's very happy. He's very, uh, he's in a really good place. He has plenty. Smiling. This is very satisfied, very, very, very satisfied, pleased as punch, so happy. Something is happening. This is very positive. Positive new direction. Yes, shining really, really bright. Hangman reversed. The wait is over. Somebody's been waiting or there's been some sort of timeout or a time of isolation. Maybe somebody was hanging on to an unfaithful situation. This is a release. The hangman reversed. The waiting is over. Somebody's been hung up on the past. They've been sacrificing themselves for another person. The wait is over. Some of you have been dealing with a Pisces. Maybe this Pisces was unfaithful. This is an increase in, in money, an increase of abundance. The Nine of Cups is emotional abundance. It is. This is getting what you asked for. Yes, this is what you asked for. Uh, something is happening. Something is happening. It is very exciting for you. What do we have for Taurus? The wait is over. The wait is over. 
Maybe some of you have been hanging on to an unfaithful individual. Maybe that's what's over. Ah, two of pentacles. Now, two of pentacles is a change, right? It's a geometric power that is realigning somebody. There's a need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt. Uh, two of pentacles. Any two is about change. It's about choices. And this one happens to be about taking steps. I feel like we have a realignment here. You may need to find some sort of balance within yourself. Now, the Two of Pentacles is usually juggling priorities. Maybe we have somebody that has been going back and forth. This is up in the air. They've been up in, up in the air with a choice, with a decision. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with. There's something that is going to happen suddenly. It is. There's a sudden change by the looks of things. And you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt to a change. I feel like we have somebody here that has been thinking a lot. I mean, the hangman is a thinker. They've been thinking, 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 thinking. Perhaps now they're they're making some sort of choice. Could be you. Could be somebody that you're dealing with. Four of Swords. The Four of Swords to me is the death of a person or idea. This is taking a time out to reflect healing over a loss. Because before that, is the Four of Swords is the Three of Swords, which is a separation. So there's been some sort of separation. There's been some sort of loss. It's been taking a time out definitely to reflect and heal. Right? Um, but now it's action time. It is definitely action time with these pages. I feel like it's it's time for a new adventure. It's time to go. This is spontaneous action. Um, tired, tired. Somebody may have uh, needed to take time to reflect and heal. Maybe they've been tired. Maybe they've been ill. Maybe they've been sick. Or they just needed time to think. There is a change that is coming. It's probably going to happen fast. You may be down. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're exhausted. Maybe you're overwhelmed and you're praying for help. I mean, typically on the Four of Swords, we do have somebody that's laying like on a bed or even a casket or whatever it is, and their hands are up and they've been praying. This is where the prayers get answered. So I feel like we have somebody who has been down, maybe they're exhausted, you know, fed up and tired and they've, you know, been in a, a situation or uh, something has happened in their life that has fallen apart. It's been a disaster. Here comes the help. There is some sort of unexpected help coming in. Ooh, two of cups reverse. And the two of cups reverse is parting ways from a partnership. It is separating or a separation. It's an unhappy couple. It's unrequited love. Maybe somebody is sick and tired of a partnership where there's an imbalance, where there's an unrequited love, where they're not getting reciprocation. I mean, the Two of Cups reverse is some sort of detaching from a partnership that is not unified. Whatever this partnership is. This is sick and tired. It is. This is time out. It's time's up, really. This is going in a new direction. Unexpected help arriving. Maybe this unexpected help is, is going to help you break free from an unrequited love situation where somebody's been unfaithful. Maybe you've been hanging on to that. Either way, your prayers have been answered in some way. Now I have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. That is a positive turn of events. This is good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. That's the Wheel of Fate. It's the Wheel of Karma that is spinning. Definitely positive. This is a new cycle. A new cycle is, is beginning. It's the end of one cycle and the beginning of another.
we do have an exciting event, and this is very positive, a positive turn of events. Good news. You're going to be so happy with this change. But you are going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to be flexible. And you may, are probably going to have to make a choice because twos are choices. And we have two options here. We definitely do have two options here. You're probably going to have to make a choice. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus? A change, a turn of events. Somebody's going somewhere in a hurry. The stars are aligned. The stars are aligned. Your prayers have been heard. Some of you may be sick and tired of not having a partnership or, or not having a union. Maybe that's what you've been praying for. I don't know. Some of you maybe have been praying to get out of a partnership where somebody's unfaithful. Either way, I feel like time's up. Get ready. I, would, I have to say get ready. Unexpected help is arriving. Mm -hmm. New opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. We have an exciting event here. Three of Pentacles on Three of Pentacles about teamwork. It's compromise. It's communication. Working with somebody. You may you may end up working with somebody on some sort of project. There's some sort of appreciation here. Being appreciated for your skills, being appreciated for what you know. Communicating, really, really communicating with somebody. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Their feelings are mutual. Oh my goodness. Knight of Cups is a romantic. This is somebody that is very charming. This is somebody that is looking for love is given to act on feelings, is going to be expressing feelings, listening to their heart. Um, this could be courting, you know, um, flirting, um, an offer or an invite, which I saw already, maybe even some sort of proposal. This is somebody that is looking for love, that is listening to their heart and taking action, acting on their feelings. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings. We also, we also have an individual here that may be turning their back on something that they were hanging on to where there was unfaithfulness. Maybe it was a third party situation. We definitely go from three to two, three to two. So somebody may be making a choice, you know, to let something go because the hangman is reversed. Somebody is going to be letting something go. And for some of you, this may have to do with your work. Maybe you've been working too much. You know, and this is about balance. You may have to balance out your work and a relationship. So you may want to consider that during this time. You're really going to have to figure out a plan on how to balance out work and a relationship. Somebody's going to be expressing some sort of feelings towards you or really flirting with you, um, showing love, showing interest. There has been some sort of unfaithfulness, though. And I know as a Taurus, you typically don't like that. Hey, man. I don't get the hangman hey twice, but this one is upright. Now, these, the upright hangman hey is somebody that is letting go. This is somebody that is willing to look at things from a new perspective, may have become enlightened. This may be, this may be somebody that's going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You may be going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody you are dealing with may be going through a spiritual awakening. Um, now the hangman is definitely thinking. Somebody is thinking, 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 thinking about their next move, looking at it from all different angles. Knowing that there's, they, they have to make a choice. Somebody has to make a choice. Probably to separate from a partnership. To have that extreme happiness that they deserve. Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness. Now the Knight of Wands is... Act now, think later. It's lusty, fast-paced energy. Something coming in extremely fast, right? 
That is somebody that is very passionate, very energetic, very fiery, very feisty, fearless. Fire sign, water sign, so it could be fire, water. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that knows what they want. They're very passionate. They, they, this is a, well, this is passion and this is emotion. This is something happening fast. This is fast paced energy. So something is going to happen fast. Very sudden, very, very sudden. I don't know. This is instant. Now that's love. So I don't know if there's what is going on. This may be love at first sight or I don't know what it is. Or this is just something that is happening extremely fast. This is a lover, and this is somebody that is extremely passionate. And like I said, you may have two options. You may also have one option. You may have somebody who has had, had options. You know, this person has had options. It was up in the air. They had to think about which way they wanted to go. I would say that you need to get prepared for some... This is like an arrival of some sort. Could be a sudden arrival. hermit on the bottom. The hermit is a thinker. Somebody that is very wise, enlightened, awakened. This is a light bulb moment. I feel like we have somebody here that has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening or you're going through a spiritual awakening or you've gone through a spiritual awakening. Things are going to change fast, okay? This two of pentacles is change. And this is fast, very fast, okay? So this is so happy working with somebody, communicating with somebody that respects you. You may also be receiving an, an opportunity, an exciting opportunity to work with somebody that increases your money for some of you. You're going to need to be open-minded. You're going to need to look, be flexible and look at things from a new perspective. Somebody could be coming in that you wouldn't even consider. You may not consider this person. Maybe there's an age difference. I don't know. There's definitely going to be a change in a partnership status or something like that. Unexpected help is arriving. Somebody is coming. This is to help you out of a desperate situation. I don't know what this desperate situation is, but this is a desperate situation. Obviously, there's been some sort of event where it's a mess. It's a disaster. And this is, this is like begging, begging, begging for help. Well, here it is. So, and it comes out of nowhere, okay? It comes out of nowhere. We may have somebody here who has just gone through an awakening and they realize something. Maybe they've been through an event. They've been in some sort of disaster or false sense of security and it's crumbled. They've gotten their awakening, you know, and they've, something like that. Whatever is happening, there's a positive turn of events here. The wheel of fate is spinning and it looks like it's spinning in your favor. Um... I feel like there's going to be an exciting event this week. Good luck.